you're in class. In a group presentation, just a rough draft, telling your professor, this is what I'm doing, and this is our presentation. You finish it, and your professor says, I really like that, but there are a couple things you can work on. Try looking at this, that, this. It shouldn't take too much work. Maybe one of y'all can work on it. You're interested in the topic, so immediately you go, I'll, I'll, well, why should I do it? And you look at Susie, who's next to you. Why, why shouldn't Susie do it? I mean, last presentation, she didn't do any of the work. And last presentation, she messed up one of the key points and ended up getting 10 points off on our grade. Why doesn't Susie do it? And uh, thinking about Susie, Susie also made fun of me the other day behind your back. Susie should do it. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the box. And you don't want to be inside of the box. So in further explaining what the box is, the box is a way of thinking, a way of how you interact with other people. Notice that without even doing anything, Susie became the antagonist of this story for no reason at all. But despite that, most people that I've talked to, most people that I know, are inside of this box. It's a way of selfishly thinking. Why didn't they do that? Why didn't such and such do that? Such and such did such and such. You don't want that. You don't want to think negatively of other people. Now, of course, given there's always a time when someone is not putting in the work or someone is doing something completely wrong, and that's okay to point out. But in a situation like this, if you enjoy the topic, why wouldn't you do the work? It's perfectly fine. One of the examples I usually give when I talk about the box is if you are asleep with your spouse in the same bed, and your baby starts crying, and you wake up and you go, uh, why don't you go check on me? And you know, your wife or your husband says, oh, I don't know, I'm tired, you go do it. There's no reason to antagonize that person. There's no reason to be inside of this box. Here's a different story. Let's say I'm in this group project, and I'm outside of the box this time. This time I go, I'll do it. Yeah, I should do more work, it'll be great, it'll be fantastic, and it'll help the other people. Notice that there's no antagonist anymore. Notice that you're not blaming someone else. Notice that everything seems fine. And for something as simple as a small project that you can work on, or helping your baby when it's crying, there's no reason to create conflict amongst each other. And the problem with the box is once you enter the box, it's really hard to get out of it. Almost impossible, because once you enter the box, people also enter the box. Because you're antagonizing them, why shouldn't they antagonize you? So I'm going to tell you right now, if you want to have healthy, successful relations with your peers, with your coworkers, with your spouse, think about it. Life doesn't revolve around you. So don't be selfish. Don't think in this selfish way. There's no reason to make enemies that don't need to be enemies. And in doing so, not only are you going to create a better environment for yourself, but you're going to create a better environment for everyone around you. Everyone wants to be happy. So what I'm going to tell you right now is if you want to create a, the best working environment you can, think outside the box. Hey.